and welcome back to a live recording of the Broad Vision Beat. I'm here with author of Collaboration 2.0, Technology and Best Practices for Successful in a Web 2.0 World, Dr. Uh, David Coleman, thank you so much for coming on with us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, congratulations on the book. Um, one of the things that I really enjoyed about your book was the 10 steps to uh, virtual environmental work environment. Um, can you just elaborate on that a little bit for us? Um, well, there, a lot of people don't know where to start. And so we've looked at a large number of enterprises and, and really look at five stages of evolution through the enterprise, starting out with what we call classic collaboration, like classic code. Mm -hmm. um, that's phone, fax, and email. So, you know, um, we could have named it geriatric collaboration. <laughs> sure, but sure. That probably wouldn't go over so well. Um, and then it moves all the way through, um, you know, uh, discovery, proliferation, consolidation, and then a virtual work environment. And and those are kind of the five, five stages. It's important to try to understand where you are in that stage. And in a large company, there might be parts that are at stage four and others that are still at stage three or stage two. So it, it's, it's important to understand where you are so that you know where to start. The other thing is that you need to have some kind of threshold metrics. So, And I run into this all the time. Nobody has any metric. Oh, yeah, we've done this. It's all anecdotal. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to get money, you're going to need some hard numbers. And so I eventually created a collaborative metric so that people could uh, do that beforehand, start a pilot project, and then measure where it was on the same scale afterwards. Otherwise, it's very hard to convince your management to give you money and support for the project. Absolutely. And uh, can you talk a little bit some about the collaborative uh, 2.0 trends that are going on? Maybe what industries seem to be adapting to it more? Well, I just finished the report on social networks in the enterprise and did about 15 case studies, and they were all over the place. We did Humana, which is health insurance, uh, did um, uh, Harvard Medical Center Hospital, we did Tyson Foods, Ford, um, you know, they were all over the place. So what we found is that uh, a lot of these technologies are being, um, well, we found a third of the companies were already deploying them, a third were looking at or evaluating them, and a third had no plans, so that roughly, and we were seeing it in all sorts of industries, everything from healthcare to manufacturing to education. We did a mm -hmm. case study on Penn State, um, you know, so all over the place. One of the interesting things we found is that social networks arise organically in an enterprise about 25% of the time. Really? Yep. And so just, can you just elaborate on that a little bit more? Sure. No one has, no one basically uh, it's not sponsored by a uh, management person. There's no budget for it. There are a lot of tools that are free. Someone in the uh, in the um, you know get lower down the hierarchy saw a need to interact with other people, mm -hmm. and they picked up a you know free SaaS based tool mm -hmm. and uh, started, and it kind of grew. And um, Humana is a good example of that. About uh, a couple of guys started, it caught on. They now have like 17 people that are kind of prom promoting this. I wouldn't say really managing it. And they meet every few weeks. It's an informal group. There's no management support. There's no executive running it. Right. And these people have been tasked with the social networking policy for this large uh, healthcare insurance company. Great. And uh, you came out with this book, what you said, a year, about a year ago or so? Uh, January 2009. Eight. January 2008. You have another book that just yes. came out uh, called 42 Rules for Successful Collaboration. What's uh, What are the differences between the two books? Um, well, the first book was kind of a, a survey of what what's out there in the collaborative world, although it's now almost two years old mm -hmm. and things have changed a lot. Um, and we looked at it from three perspectives, people, process, and technology. Mm -hmm. And my belief is that you have to look at collaboration holistically in order to be successful with it, and that's kind of from 20 years of doing this for different companies. Sure. Um, and so the book is divided up into three sections, technology, process, and people. I did most of the technology, well, I did all the technology section, most of the process section, mm -hmm. and then my co-author, 
Stewart, who focuses on interpersonal interactions, wrote more of the people part of the book. Excellent. And, um, oh, and oh yeah, new, yeah, this book. I'm right, sorry. Go ahead. Book. So this book was actually uh, written, I used social networks to write the book. I mm -hmm. kind of crowdsourced Interesting. it. Interesting. I put out some questions on Twitter and LinkedIn about what are your best practices for collaboration. Got lots of responses and picked out the ones that I thought were good mm -hmm. and sent them a template back. So each of the, th the book is um, based on rules. A rule is a 600 word kind of maybe a little article or a nugget of information on collaboration and best practices and uh, it's very easy to read it's kind mm -hmm. of a, like a web 2.0 book not only to use web 2.0 to write it but it's kind of very modular and you can like read one thing and not the whole book and still get value whereas the first book is more traditional and there's you know a lot of chapters yep. and this is broken up into small nuggets. One of the things that I liked uh, in this in this book uh, that you do is you can uh, you can download this book um, off of off of a website if I'm if I'm There's not mistaken. E yeah, yeah both, in the ebook, which are, I thought was very interesting. Well, both of the books are offered as ebooks. Sure. And a lot of people do that. Yep. Um, the last chapter in the book is on collaboration and sustainability. Mm -hmm. So we encourage people to be sustainable. So uh, downloading an ebook is more sustainable than printing a book. Yeah, absolutely. And we we have one client who actually. Um, distributed the book to all their customers only as an ebook. Oh, really? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, David, thank you so much for coming on the beat with us. We You're really appreciate welcome. it. And this is Aaron Fleischman signing off from booth 625 at the Enterprise 2.0 show in San Francisco. Take care.